All right, guys, and welcome back. My name is D Free, and for today's video, we are checking out Agatha and uh, and just an Agatha deck. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel for more content. So, one thing I've been asked is like, yo, there was an Agatha at the top as well. What's up with all these Agathas? <laughs> so, Agatha is an interesting card. Um, as you see, Agatha starts in your hand and plays your cards for you. So Agatha is effectively this game's only, at this time anyway, version of autoplay, if you will. So when Agatha is in your hand, she is in complete control of everything you're doing. Now, this obviously, because you're relying on AI, is, you know, it's good and bad. Because just to be honest, as you see, I've played a lot with Agatha to be able to upgrade all these. And there's another one at the top, like I was saying. The AI is is very, 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 and I could say that on and on for another five minutes, very bad. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys a deck that uh, I think works really well with Agatha. And just the strategy is that whenever you get Agatha, you can farm her basically. So anytime you fill a card, what happens is, uh, let me go back to the top Agatha. Whenever you fill a card to the maximum rarity, all the way up from the base rarity, the green border, blue border, epic, and whatever, blah, 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 legendary, I think the top one's infinity, right? So what happens is this. It produces a second version of the card. You see, so I have another Agatha here that I can use to upgrade uh, that's starting off. And they actually get this nice little rainbow color background. But this is that same pixel one, but she starts over again and can be used to upgrade. And you can basically farm collection level if you don't have cards you want to upgrade. You can farm them like that because the other one's down here, right? That's basically the loop, right? So you just farm Agatha repeatedly and repeatedly and you're good from there. <laughs> <laughs> so the deck I was using was not that one. It's going to be right here. So I think the idea for this deck came from Victorious23. Shout out to him. I'm not the originator of this deck. So this deck is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. First and foremost, a couple of things you need to know about Agatha. Uh, whenever it's available, she will play herself. That's typically, under normal circumstances, going to be on turn six. On turn six, no matter what you have, she will play herself. Now, if she is, if you have a situation where you get energy early or your cost is reduced, she will play herself whenever it's available. Now, if she is discarded from your hand or if she is forced to play earlier than turn six, you will have to resume playing for Agatha, okay? You will have to play normally from there. So the idea here is Wave and Jubilee, right? So Wave forces uh, all the cards cost to be a maximum of four. You play her on turn three, ideally. And since there's no other turn or, or any other three drops in the deck, if you have this card, there is no competition. Agatha will always choose Wave. Because if you have a different card, she might play something else. That's the point. So if she plays Wave on the following turn, no matter what other of these cards you have, she will again, like I was saying, on turn four in that situation, play herself. Now, other than that, your deck revolves around Jubilee. On the In its core, it's a Jubilee deck. And if you know anything about Jubilee decks, they're sometimes paired with Lockjaw because you get some pretty crazy combos potential. But the idea with Jubilee is whenever you play her, she pulls any random card from your deck. You're ideally looking for Sarah, Chavez is okay. Chavez is in the deck because you will not draw her before turn six. Quicksilver is in your deck only as a early turn one option. We don't need Domino. If you want Domino, you can do that too. She'll, she'll, she'll be drawn on turn two. I don't like Domino in case I don't have Wave for the record. But you're ideally pulling Magic or Sarah from Jubilee. And then from there, towards the end of the duel, you will res uh, be able to play. And if you pull Magic on turn six, she'll play Agatha under no normal circumstances. And then you follow that up with a Taskmaster play. You can also play Mary and then follow that up again with Taskmaster. And Crossbones is another beat stick. So the deck is pretty much just beat sticks around Agatha. So we're going to play a few matches, see how this goes. It's not something you want to really do beyond like rank 30. Um, this is a really bricky hand. That's why Quicksilver's in the deck. Because you're going to brick a lot because all the cards are high cost cards. Oh, wave too. So this is actually a really good, really good one to show you. So like I said, this is not something you really want to do too far. It's not going to win most games. You'll probably win half the time, which honestly isn't a bad win ratio for a deck in this game. 
All right, so there goes Wave. So we're going to play Agatha super early in this duel. <laughs> She's going to play herself, and I'll have to play like I was saying. Super early under this circumstance. Okay, and she's gonna play herself. Cards that cost four, five, or six can be played there. And he's snapping already, okay. So I'm gonna drop a 14 cost card. It's a shame. If I top deck Taskmaster, that's great. If I don't, that's not great. Onslaught with Patriot. No wonder he snapped, okay. No wonder he snapped. Let's play Sarah. Oh, Sarah plus Elysium is insane. <laughs> that is insanity. Good Lord. Mystique. Oh, okay. No wonder he snapped. He had the craziest hand. This dude had the most broken. Look at the Cyclops. Yeah, he had the most broken hand ever. That's garbage. That is actual garbage. No wonder he snapped. <laughs> I don't know that there's anything I can do. I, d I don't know that there's anything I can do to win this game. Look at him. Giving me the fist bump. Blue Marvel. Yeah, I don't know that there's... He drew all of the cards he would need in his deck. I don't know that there's anything I can do. It's just probably not possible. Actually, Shang-Chi. Okay, Chavez, we don't care about you. Actually, I just realized that the power went up because Blue Marvel. Ooh, Shang-Chi's alive now. If I can pop Onslaught, I think I win if I pop Onslaught. That's a really interesting proposition. This cost stuff is crazy right now. <laughs> My cards are so cheap. <laughs> Sarah and Elysium. Look at this no, no abilities deck going crazy. Look at this nonsense. Get Onslaught. Ah, oh, you got the wrong card, but it's not bad. Actually, actually that was the right card. Oh, that's not great. Actually, that was the right card because Mystique. I'm gonna give him the fist bump. <laughs> that's so cheesy. Can she remove the, oh my God, this is the best possible draw. <laughs> Enchantress. I should have snapped because I definitely won this game. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? What was that garbage? No wonder he snapped so early. <laughs> I should have snapped. Enchantress was the win. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding? Dude, he had 50 something power with this stupid Misty and Cyclops. Shang Chi as a tech card is crazy. So I didn't really mention those other cards. But very briefly, if we go back to the deck, Shang-Chi, Magic, Sarah, those are all Enchantress. Those are all tech cards, as you can tell. They're here just to extend the game or give me options. That's, that's really it. Typhoid Mary kind of sucks because she lowers the power of all your cards at the expense of playing her. But if I could play her and then have Taskmaster clone her, he doesn't clone the ability, so he'd be all right with the power bonus. Um, so it's just kind of situational, but really you want to drop Taskmaster after a magic and Agatha not not after magic specifically But Agatha being played after magic, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of all those cards <laughs> They're all in my hand Interesting The problem with this is the AI is so stupid. This is how stupid the AI is if I don't draw like wave It'll play, it, there's a possibility the stupid AI will play Taskmaster before magic. That's how dumb the AI is. Cards here are not revealed until the game ends. That actually sucks for this deck. Come on, pick up Wave so she can play Agatha early. Oh, by the way, Sif and Ghost Rider. Why would you do that? This, that's what I'm talking about. We picked up Wave. That's what I'm talking about. Look, why would you play her there? <laughs> For what reason? <laughs> why not in Westview? <laughs> this is what I... That's literally what I'm talking Why would you do that? <laughs> that's, I tell you, the AI is stupid. It's going to mess around and play Agatha in Dark Dimension. Can, can he even copy that power, Taskmaster? I don't know if you can with the card being face down. Watch it. Watch what's going to happen here. Come on. There's a two out of three chance you don't do it. Please don't do it. 
I don't actually want to see it. Murder World freaking brick the game. I don't care about Cosmo. Please don't do it. Turns in to give a card to each player's hand plus one cost. Thank you. So the thing about Icebox is it doesn't matter this turn because Wave is going to override it and make it be four. Did it choose Taskmaster? Who did it choose? I can't actually tell who it, it doesn't say. Mystique? What? Oh, he's copying the on reveal effect. How cheesy. So now Taskmaster is largely useless. Can magic even flip the dark dimension? I like these double no abilities is killing me. This is an uh, this is an on reveal effect. She won't be able to pull that off. I'll have to try to have magic flip this dark dimension. This is a really interesting deck he's using. Mystique is so good. Magic can't do it because she's face down. Great, that's garbage. That's I'm not really surprised. Hmm. I have two cards in my deck. What are the two cards I didn't draw? <sighs> Chung Chi is one of them. And so Chung Chi and, Sh and Sarah. Okay, so no Jubilee. I'm I'm glad I I remembered. You're just gonna clone Magic Taskmasters. Magic's useless. Cause she couldn't flip and I had no on reveal effects like that really shut me down. I can't do anything but hope to win dark dimension. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go for that. Cause Punisher would have just shut me down anyway. <laughs> Limbo. There is no turn seven. Ooh. Oh, Ronin. Are you kidding me? That was an awesome deck. That's an awesome deck. It's too, it's too strong for Agatha. <laughs> it was too strong for an Agatha deck. That was a cool deck. Mystique is so broken in this game. You did you guys just saw two matches in a row where Mystique is stupid broken. That card is ridiculous. She is like the ultimate card, man. Easily a Z tier card, man. She is insane. Super stupid card. I've never seen somebody clone Cosmo like that. That actually sucked. I couldn't play anything anywhere. <laughs> Taskmaster was worthless. That was awesome. Wave? No, I needed the wave. <laughs> you suck. You know what? I kind of don't mind because we'll we'll see Agatha struggle here. Because without wave, the deck doesn't work anywhere near as good. Wave and Jubilee are mandatory cards for this deck. I haven't really used Jubilee yet, but wave especially is mandatory for th for this iteration of the deck. Ooh. So good thing we already had something in Death's Domain. Unfortunate for him, he didn't play armor there. <clears throat> I don't know if he can even play anything. Well, he can add something, like a squirrel or something, right? Oh, oh, okay, that works. Agatha, I swear, if you play something in more Island, why would you play Shang Chi this turn? And why would you play him in Stark Tower? <laughs> why would you do that? You could at least play like something in flooding. So I don't just forcefully lose that. Cause he's going to play something there. Shang-Chi is worthless this turn. <laughs> oh no, Agatha. Agatha. <laughs> Why would you play Shang-Chi and play him there? And you're going to play to, oh my God. <laughs> This is why I said I wouldn't use this deck beyond a certain level. What are you doing, Agatha? This is the easy loss. I'm going to give this one up, man. Come on, Agatha. What is it? You sell it. <laughs> you are out here and sell it. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> but you know what? In all seriousness, the Yandu beat me. But that that's two games in a row where you can see how fragile this deck really is. So I wouldn't rely on this deck to climb. This is a deck that like if you need to get some objectives done and you need to like, you shouldn't do this, but if you need to drive while playing, you know, so you don't have to really play it, you can just put it down. It would suck for the time for the other player, but you can do that. 
This is that type of deck. <laughs> when you play a card here, add a copy. Okay. But yeah, oh, that's what I was saying. Without the like the on reveal effects, Cosmo was is enough by himself. Mystique Cosmo is insane. It is absolutely insane. Um speaking of a double and onslaught, that first player, oh my god, he really drew all the perfect cards in his hand. And we somehow overcame that with Shang-Chi. I cannot get over that. I can't get over it. But also, uh, yeah, Wave. Yandu beat me in the last game. That Wave just was ridiculous. Ah, oh, Sinister London. Agatha. Why do you always... I'm going to have to pull... Sh I can't take Shang-Chi out of the deck. He's too good. You should have played Jubilee, though. If you played Jubilee and Sinister London, we would... So now we're going to lose this game. Bishop and Angela, two of them. They're going to play freaking Typhoid Mary. Oh, my God. We're going to be minus two on every character, Agatha. We're going to be on minus two on every character, Agatha. It would be nice if you play Agatha Harkness in Sinister London. But knowing you, you're going to play her somewhere else. <laughs> oh, my God. You really played Mary. You really played Mary. I'm surprised he didn't drop the dinosaur there. He should have dropped it. You really played a Mary. <laughs> Hello, Chavez. Okay, at least you did that. Let's see if you get the win. Are you, please, if it plays on a Nidal, then maybe. That ty double Typhoid Mary is actually cancer. That's actually cancer. She's only good as a Taskmaster clone to me. Or target to me. Look at this guy. There's a hand limit. Oh, but the double, that's why he didn't play it there. He had the double effect. That's fair. I didn't even think about that. Armor. Come on. I need you to go to the left, Agatha. Come on. We win if you do that. <laughs> she still somehow won. Dude, she still somehow won. Oh my god, we got so lucky. This is the last game. Dude, she got unimaginably lucky. Oh, I have Patriot and Ghost Rider. Oh, it's a shame I don't have. Wait. Full each player's hand with random cards. Oh, they gave me dinosaur. Oh, it's just, this, this guy is the card you really want in this deck. Because you could drop Agatha and bring her back. Him and Sif is crazy with Agatha. Please don't ever play this Patriot, though. He's pretty useless for me. Actually, it's not terrible for Quicksilver. No, Quicksilver has an ability. Yeah, Patriot's garbage, but he was only three drop in the hand, so I guess it makes sense. Swordmaster for Infinite. Are you kidding? Does he have Ghost Rider? He definitely has Ghost Rider. He's gonna bring that garbage can back. Speaking of Ghost Rider, why? He can't do anything. Agatha. Agatha, please. I beg you. If he plays Infinite, Agatha, please play Shang-Chi. Agatha, please. Morbin. You really gonna play that dinosaur? I think the dinosaur is not terrible, I guess. It's not terrible, I guess. And there goes Sif. What is he playing Hella? No way he's got Hella. Don't you play in the center. Don't you play in the damn center. Oh, wait, she can't. She has no choice. Because the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yeah, but this is a loss. It doesn't... Even though I'm winning Tr Triscotillion or whatever, this is a loss because it'll count points because we're going to tie for Sanctorum. And he's got a billion freaking points in the middle. That's an easy loss. I'm going to let him have it. Whatever. <laughs> Agatha, please. 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 Come on, buddy. 
I gave you this win. Blade, Crystal, Ghost Rider. I knew it. Oh, he brought back Crystal. Does he bring back the last card? Bring back one. It's a random. Yeah, I thought so. That's unfortunate, but it didn't really matter. Because I wasn't going to win because he's got a billion points in the freaking middle. Agatha's useless there. Like, that's the, this, this overwhelming amount of points just beats, beats me in the tiebreaker. Um, what did we do here? I think we went two and two. I kind of want to play one more because that match was kind of bogus because she couldn't she couldn't do anything. Let's play this, this one really quick. And maybe we'll get wave magic. Sarah, not great. What is the first one? Turns into a new location. Quicksilver, Quicksilver up oh, wasp. OK. <clears throat> Mojo world is back. That's great. We just saw how Agatha doesn't know how to take advantage of Mojo World. Shuffle five rocks. That's not great with Jubilee. Watch this be the one time she finally plays Jubilee. Watch it be the one time she plays Jubilee and Jubilee's gonna pull a rock. Ooh, Brood is crazy in that location. Xandar. Oh, she played Mary, whatever. The AI tries to go for the strongest card. Oh, well, now she's playing Jubilee, so never mind. What is the point of playing sub that the rock in Subterranea? Just to get the energy, I guess. Ooh, magic! Yeah, thank you. That gives me a turn to use the cards without Agatha controlling them. Please pull something. Not a rock. 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 Please, not a rock. Not yes. Thank you. I was going to draw Chavez next, actually. That's funny. Ooh, I can drop Taskmaster. Let's go. And the rock is actually the rock. <laughs> it makes sense. It sounds like I'm saying Dwayne. The rock is the rocks aren't bad in this match. And the reason why is because I can use them as filler for Mojo World. Shocker. D don't, please don't tell me he has Patriot. God damn it. He has Patriot. Of course he has Patriot. Is there even a way to win? Wait, hold on. Actually, doesn't this win? I'm not going to count it. I'm just going to assume this wins. I'm not going to count it. I won't snap, though. Let's see if I can just get back the points I lost. Onslaught? Oh, come on. Well, if he didn't play Onslaught, <laughs> that's the one card that mattered. If he didn't play Onslaught, that's okay, though. That's okay. I'm not really mad at that. So, yeah, the I don't really think. Oh, I finished my season pass. I don't really think there are any uh, particular cards I would recommend for Agatha in particular. Like, so here's the deal with Agatha. I'm going to leave you with this. Steer clear of cards that are complicated and combos that are complicated. For example, Nova, Bucky Barnes. You typically the, the, the cookie cutter play is to play them and then play Deathlock or Carnage. Agatha is the type of AI to play them in different spots and then not play Carnage or, or, or Deathlock where you need to play it. Too complicated. Discard decks. Too complicated. I wouldn't run it. Move decks, too complicated. Wouldn't run it. Now you could, I mean, RNG, maybe you get lucky she plays the right thing, but I wouldn't run it. Ironically, decks with Mystique, the, the, the decks where you need to play something and play something directly after, like, you know, the, the Mystique decks or whatever, Onslaught, Patriot, stuff, that type of stuff, too complicated. Because when you got to play two cards in the same location, the AI just, it may do it, it may not do it. So you pretty much, Mr. Negative deck, too complicated. You would want to steer clear of a lot of decks like that. Um, and I would actually say that if you could run just tech cards, basic cards, like Spider-Woman, cards like 
Captain Marvel, whatever. These cards that she doesn't have to do too much to really pull the value out of, then those are the cards I would recommend using. I wouldn't go too deep into it. Um, and again, that's why Jubilee, Wave, you could put Lockjaw in the deck really as well. I might consider putting Lockjaw, but the only reason Lockjaw wasn't in the deck was so if Wave was in the hand on turn three, she would always play Wave. If there's no, if she's if Lockjaw's in the deck, that's that's competition. So you could do that, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. But I would recommend Sif Ghost Rider, just for some element of guaranteedness. And what I mean by that is Sif will always discard Agatha, right? Well, you could you have to drop Chavez and leave Agatha as your six. I believe I don't know if there's a tiebreaker on Sif, but she drops the highest cost card in your hand. If you're gonna do that, Chavez comes out and chavez and either mary or crossbones one of those two comes out so that's what you do you put in ghost rider and sif and the ghost rider will forcibly bring back agatha and since she drops off agatha you can play early and use agatha as a beat stick that's the deal right so that's what i would recommend doing so i hope you guys enjoyed hit the thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one